This video will cover how to replace the inlet and discharge valves along with the water seals and guides on any RTD series pump. These are the tools used in the video to repair the machine. Here are the kits and their part numbers needed to service the pump. The kits may vary depending on which pump you have. To replace the three discharge valves on the top of this pump, remove the bolts keeping the plate on with a 10 mm Allen socket. You can take the valve covers off with a 6 mm bolt. Screw it onto the threaded port on the top of the cap and wiggle them off. The tops of the valves are threaded too, and can be pulled out with a 10 mm bolt. If you are not replacing the valves, check to make sure there is no damage to the spring or poppet before putting them back in. When you put them back in, they must be seated all the way into the head. It's okay to use something that will not damage the inside of the pump to seat them. Note that the inlet valves are different. They have silver springs and have much less spring tension. The discharge valves have a black spring and higher spring tension. Do not mix them up. When reassembling, check the backup ring and O-ring on the valve covers for damage. Then you can press them squarely back into the port. Make sure the back of the valve plate is clean before putting it back on with all of the bolts. The bolts can then be put on and torqued to 442 inch-pounds. To access the pistons and their guides, start by removing the eight head bolts with the same 10 mm Allen socket used to take off the other bolts. Once the bolts are off, you can remove the head by turning the crankshaft. After the head has been pushed off as far as it can go, you may need someone to assist you in tapping the head with a soft face mallet while you wiggle it off. Be careful because the head on this pump is very heavy. Once the manifold is off, there will be parts either on the pistons or still in the head of the machine. To remove parts off of the pistons, start by using a wrench or your hand to rotate the crankshaft. This will push parts towards the end of the piston, making them easier to twist off. To take the rear piston guide out of the head, the best method is to use a pair of large reverse pliers to twist and pull them out. 
make sure to not go farther into the pump than I do. This may damage the seals around the pistons. Next, take out the front piston guide and low pressure seal assembly. If you can't take out the low pressure seals by hand, use a small flathead screwdriver to pry parts out without scratching the plastic underneath them. Take out and inspect the high pressure support ring for damage too. If you want to take off and inspect the o-ring on the guides, you can pinch one end and pull it off. If you are not replacing your parts, make sure to clean and inspect them for any damage. When putting pieces back into the head, start with the high pressure support ring. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its concave side should go into the head. New seals are tough to fit in. Make sure you work them in at an angle and to only use your hands. The rear support ring should then fit on top of that. The front piston guide comes next, with its curved side going into the head. To put the rear piston guide back into the head, start by putting the O-ring back on the outside. Place the guide flat on the table and very carefully put in the new low pressure seal flat into the guide. These pieces will most likely be destroyed if taken out, so we suggest to put in a new one if you do. If the complete guide is put in squarely, it should click into place. Cleaning debris and grime off of the pistons is important. Use an evaporative cleaner to wipe anything off of the pistons. If you want to replace the pistons, this pump is similar to some of our other pumps we have done videos on. I've put a link to a similar pump in the annotation above. If you do take them off, the bolts require to be torqued to 265 inch-pounds when being put back on. To properly put on the manifold, turn the crankshaft so that the outer pistons are even. This helps with pushing the head back on squarely. New seals may be tight, so you can use two of the head bolts as a guide on opposite sides of the pump to help screw it in evenly. These head bolts should be torqued to 752 inch-pounds. 
torquing in a crisscross manner can help evenly tighten the head onto the pump.